Hi, this is uh, Peter Kennedy with Medievalist.net. Hi, this is Sandra Sadescu with Medievalist.net. And we're here back for our roundtable for fr uh, Saturday night, the Congress is ending. So, and we are joined by Dana Cushing, John Hostler, Richard Scott Noakes, who are medievalists. <laughs> thanks for inviting us. <laughs> they do, they do things. That's the story. <laughs> fashion, I guess. They, but, and you've all had like different experiences, I hope, at the con uh, conference. And let's maybe let's start off by saying, you know, what is it? I'll start. Okay. Because I never start. Um, so I'm going to talk about yesterday's concert, which I really enjoyed. Peter and I went to uh, the Black Dragon, and we saw um, a group performing Bulgarian. Um, Romanian, Transylvanian, Hungarian music from the 15th century, and I loved it. It was amazing. I really enjoyed that. That was one of my favorite parts of the conference, because Peter and I never go off campus yeah. other than to Bilbo's. So it was kind of refreshing to actually go to one of these concerts or like activities outside of the conference, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, they, they, they held it at this uh, uh, church in like, like downtown Kalamazoo, and it was like about 150 people. Um, the uh, you know kind of a uh, four-person band playing and like uh, doing the songs and I was just blown away so mm -hmm. I got to listen to more medieval music so. definitely so that was the highlight and then my other highlight was of course Dana and Peter's papers today okay, guys it was really good it was really good you should have been there it was um, High Medieval Warfare two and although I am so not versed in medieval war warfare I thoroughly enjoyed all the papers including the last one I just can't remember the, um, the gentleman's name. Um, it was good, but it was about Mongols. It was more Mongols. It was yes. It was more Mongols, and you know, I enjoyed that too. So I'm glad I found out how Richard got his Lionheart. So <laughs> <laughs> right. So those are my highlights. Okay, uh, Dana, what was what's been your highlights so far? Like the actually, the, um, it's not really a medieval topic, but my highlight of the conference has been the disabled accessibility has greatly improved this year. Oh yeah. And, they, um, for those in your audience who don't know me and don't know that I have um, both uh, physical and uh, brain injury difficulties uh, from my service in Iraq, and uh, this year they actually, they put in a real extra effort to make the conference more accessible, and uh, so it's it's been much better this year for me. So well, that was really my highlight. <laughs> what were like the like challenges before? Like like what? How did they improve? Just like some of the things. Uh, well, one of the things is they've been uh, more cons uh, they they've tried to be more considerate of s some of the accessibility needs. Yeah. There's not as many sessions that are on upper floors, uh, or the those that are on upper floors are in buildings where there is better access. They were able to provide parking passes this year. Um, often a difficulty when you're disabled, you rent a car. It doesn't have the disabled tags, and I come from a state that doesn't give hang tags. Uh, so that's also a difficulty is you can't use the handicapped parking on campus and they were able to get around that this year and uh, in various ways they've they've just made the extra effort and I've really appreciated it. That's, oh, good. that's pretty cool, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. John. John? Um, I think, you know, connecting with colleagues is always, I think, the best part to come. Is it? You, could, you come in and you get to meet with people and um, you know, people you haven't seen for the last year and talk about book ideas and you know what have you been up to and this year I've been showing off pictures of my new daughter everybody I see you know, and, you know everybody say oh she's so gorgeous which makes me feel good um, <laughs> you know but um, so so that's always the best part um, this year I think I, uh, I think the book find has been uh, particularly rich for me as well I found some um, some great things um, at the book sale uh, for people who've never been to Kalamazoo I mean that is really one of the highlights of the the, uh, the antiquarian books and the out of print things. And, uh, so that's been wonderful. But in terms of sessions, um, I'm right now I'm writing a book on John of Salisbury, and there were two sessions at this conference um, about John of Salisbury. Uh, they were titled Political Thought, you know, History of Political Thought, but the papers in them were talking about John of Salisbury's works and various dimensions of it. And so I thought it was wonderful. I actually had a couple that I could go to. I skipped away from Day Rain and Altari for a while and I was able to get some, some good information and meet some really nice people and people who are working on it, make some new connections. So sort of building the old connections and meeting new people. That's, that's kind of been the experience. Well, you'll have to drop off a few connections. You can't have everyone. Right? Yeah, can't have everyone. You only get five in your circle. Oh, is that what it is? Five? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, Scott, you are here. Uh, you're basically your your new company, Witten Publishing. So mm -hmm. and so, you were kind of 
in the book sale area for most of it. The whole time. I mean, if it was not, <laughs> there had this little wall of two, two blue walls hemming me in. And if it didn't occur within 20 feet of that, I didn't see it. So at first, I was really distressed because I, I, I didn't go to any sessions. I, mean, I, I literally I couldn't get out to, to go to any sessions. And then um, I thought, well, I'm not going to get to see anyone. You know, talking about those kinds of connections. But if you're in the exhibit hall, everybody comes to you, and everyone knows where to find you. So eventually, everyone found me, and that was pretty nice. So it's a really different experience from the exhibitors, uh, from the exhibitors' perspective than, than it was from the from the scholars' perspective. So you're kind of trapped, but the world comes to you, I guess. Oh, that's pretty cool. Man. Well, like I think you know, I, I've just been one thing I've been also like uh, with medieval, doing medievalist.net is that we. People are starting to know us more, and oh, uh, God. they. Uh, I was so funny. We got. I, we, I, we got her. Cinder was asked to sign the program. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no, actually, no, and he came in. Oh, and, and, well, he, he, he came okay. in and got my autograph too. So they, no, uh, wow. that's okay. <laughs> and we're starting to kind of oh, meet the fans and like get that kind of connection and like. No, no. Uh, so I, I was really, you know, it made, made my day some of these times. So uh, I was really glad my paper went uh, went well. So like. Uh, I think it went well. So yeah, and but I'm I, I thought it was great. I was I was telling that story just a few weeks ago to my undergrads about um, about Edward and his and, and his wife Eleanor, you know, sucking the poison from the wound yeah. and all of this. And uh, so I thought it was very great. I was just talking about that. You know. uh, but you didn't you didn't add the last part about how Edward said uh, before he died that he wanted his heart to be buried in the Holy Land because that's you know, they wanted to separate oh. the, the the body parts from the skeleton. You know, oh, skeleton yeah. in England, but the heart. In the I, heart. I, I, I didn't know, I did not know it didn't that. happen. It didn't happen. Ah. Well, I guess is when he when he died. Oh, that was your wish. Uh, well, you know, we can't wait for it. The so. kidneys. <laughs> I don't know at the local pub. That's where the, the kidneys local go. Pub. <laughs> <laughs> or the liver. Yeah. Like uh, in in say in terms of like learning things. Like have you actually did we actually learn anything? Uh, like at this conference? Like we hope so. <laughs> <laughs> they like you sometimes come in like. No, I think every time every time I'm here, I, I learn something new. You know, I attend a session. And, oh wow, this this came up. You know, so like and like the sessions I don't know much about. So you know, it's really cool. So did any guys, you guys like, you know, like in your well, conversations or like, oh, this is a new kind of thing that's going to interest me. Well, like, people, you normally you know, you go to sessions that are in your field of expertise or you have an interest. You know, I'm, I've read that text or I know that person. I want to I want to see that. But you know, the all week people have been coming and pitching books to me, you know, and saying, well, I'd like to do this book, or I'd like to do that book, and, and I can't tell you the number of things I've learned, I, you know, they'd say, well, do you know about so-and-so? You know about so-and-so? So, of course, I, I've never heard of this person. Oh, well, this <laughs> person was important in, in 12th century Spain, and I'm like, oh, okay, and, uh, and tell me about him, and they tell me about him, so I can't believe the number of things. I've, basically, what I learned is that um, uh, trying to know um, uh, Trying to know even a smattering of everything that happened in the world for about a, a millennium uh, is pretty hard to do. Yeah. That's for you. John? Yeah, I, you know, I learned a lot about, there were a lot of good papers this year, I thought, on, um, on siege tactics. I, think, I found that pleasing. I mean, right from the first day of Ray session, there was talking about the Ayubids and the, uh, the Mammoth tactics and attacking with fortifications with catapults. And then went to an Angevin session um, put together by the Backracks. And, um, and there was more talk about Angevin castles and castles down in Toulouse and this sort of thing. And it's, it's always good to see the things you're studying, because I study you know, English and Anglo-Norman tactics, but then you see these things being replicated in other places with different dimensions. And it gets you to think a little bit more creatively about what you're doing. So here's Saladin doing things that I've been talking about 100 years earlier, but it's remarkably similar, but different in other ways. And um, so I thought, I thought it was really nice. I, I learned a lot about fortifications um, in this conference, which was excellent. Mm -hmm. Dan? Uh, well, I learned about taking next steps in my career. Um, oh, because I did my undergraduate degree. I'm not a traditional student. I didn't have enough money for graduate school, so I wound up eventually joining the military. And now that I'm on the other side of that, I've really been trying to decide whether to, to pursue the traditional graduate school tenure track career or to try to branch off into something with the new media like, like you've done, um, or some sort of consulting and translation work since languages is one of my subspecialties. And uh, so the mentorship that I've been able to get at the conference has really been invaluable to me because I'm not with an institution, so I don't have another way to, to have those interactions. 
That's really cool. You know, all three of you are really kind of kind of new into your careers. Really, like you know, you within publishing is kind of a new venture. They, you know, John, you're only a professor, for like a tenured professor for like a year now. A year so. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so right. like, and then, you know, Dana, like you, you've got a new, you know, like the, your books and things like that. You're going to be coming out, and you're right. looking and forward to that. Next year. And of course, Sandra and I are. Okay, you know, we're doing this medievalist.net, so which I'm finding it's a, I'm learning from last year how to sort of pace ourselves and kind of take away um, when, <laughs> when to stop working, and <laughs> Peter, and um, <laughs> just saying, and you know, just like realizing sort of what I what I want to attend and just branching out instead of kind of going to everything, oh, I know that, or this, mm -hmm. just, I kind of went everywhere this year, and, and I'm glad I did, and, and just sort of just figuring out, you know, how, how to pace it out, and uh, work, and schmooze, and go to events, <laughs> yeah. and do, and schmooze, you know, <laughs> so it, it's been a learning process from a totally different perspective, because you know, Peter's still giving papers, but I'm not coming at it from the scholarly perspective. I'm coming at it from more of a media type thing. And it's, uh, it's definitely a learning process, but it's fun. Well, I think it's great. One thing about Medievalist.net that I think is really interesting mm -hmm. is, unlike other um, medieval sites that try to put things together, is that you guys are going to conferences and showing, you know, even if you're not giving a paper or something, you're, saying, you're going to an academic venue that most people really don't have a good lens into. And you say, well, what do you do as a professional? Uh, you know. I do this, and they don't understand. I'm going to a conference, and they, oh, I've been to conferences before. It's not really that kind of conference, right? And I think that's so valuable to go in and say, not only is there this serious work being done, but a lot of it's really fun. I mean, you see the posts that you guys put up, and you're like, I'm seeing this great paper, and then the comments that come in, oh, I love that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's great to like it's pseudo fantastic. The pseudo society that I'm sitting there is taking pictures as they're going along, and it's just, you know, it's fun because I think people have this sort of conception of what medievalists are, or what it is, it's a bunch of, you know, suits and spuddy duddies and all this kind of thing, but it's not, it's so much fun. Yeah. Or we're dressed up like the Renaissance Fair or something. Or exactly, right. it's, like, it's, like, it's like a Ren Fair with turkey legs and whatever, it's like, and it's not like that, and, and we, Peter and I get to go to events. Sometimes. No, but uh, we get to go to these events and then get to uh, showcase people's research and work and, um, a lot of the events we've gone to are also were like uh, graduate student events too, so it's great. So we get new blood, yeah. and um, and the cool thing I have to say this year is that uh, going along the lines of people recognizing us, we've gone to conferences. So like Elan, who did the last pseudo, I met him at a previous conference, and I'm like, I'm going to come and see you when you present at Pseudo Society, and people come up to you and like, oh, you were in you know Pittsburgh and stuff, and it's great, and you build these relationships, and you go back and. And they're young, and we're going to get to watch them as their research builds and grows, and it's a really great thing because now you're getting more people interested in the Middle Ages and the humanities, which is my end goal. So, and one one of the interesting things for me with Medievalist.net, doing the Facebook and the Twitter updates, is Sandra posted the title of my paper, and nine people I've never heard of immediately liked it. And so that, for me, is nine people that I can go to the site and, and start talking to them and hopefully at some conference in the future be able to meet them and, and to just share and interact, but I wouldn't have found them except through the new media and through your And your the site. thing is, when you post titles of papers, we'll get feedback on the Facebook page saying, that's a really interesting paper, can you post a summary of it? Mm -hmm. Or they'll ask about the person who gave the paper and and you know we, we can put people in touch and sometimes people will come up onto the wall and they'll post something like, I'm looking for manuscripts on X, Y, Z, and then someone right. else from that community, like, I, and, and they kind of, they kind of network, they medieval <laughs> right. network right. on the site. Yeah. And I think that's part of, like, that's good. The, 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 that's this sort of want. atmosphere of this, you know, academics, we have to go to a lot of conferences, and, and usually the big conferences are kind of boring and ugly, and people are mean to each other, and, <laughs> I mean, it, it's cut road, and <laughs> we will not name any conferences, <laughs> But the, that's sort of the tone on medievalist. I mean, that's the kind of tone that you have. I mean, everybody's supportive. I mean, they're you helpful. Are right. You they're hardly very... ever hear anyone anyone sort of tearing someone else down. No, and, no. And people come in. They're excited not just about their own work. They're excited about the work that other people are doing. 
Yeah. You know, and, and that's, you know, you rarely find that at a really big conference like this. Well, and and here it is. To me, it's amazing because I've been coming to Kalamazoo since 1993, 94. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it was only about 800 people. And now they get something like 3,500. And even though it's growing, that ethos has not changed. Right. Right. We often say in De Remo Otario in our business meetings, you know, that people just throw out book ideas. Yeah. You know, there's graduates, there's, there's somebody should do this, somebody should do this. You don't have that, that layer of secrecy. Right. It's, right. you know, encouragement. And you, you, somebody needs to look at this. Yeah. Why don't you go look at this? And, right. Instead of jealously holding on to every idea. You know, it's, right. it's a nice open environment. Yeah, and it, it is good. And honestly, if, it's, if someone's looking for something, a good chance is if you throw it on that Facebook page, I'm guaranteeing you within a few hours, somebody from some part of the world, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, Wisconsin or Portugal, is going to answer your question yeah. and provide you with some kind of information, which I think is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like to see people helping each other. I don't like that cutthroat academ yeah. academia yeah. kind of, oh, it's mine. And it seems like yeah. normally <laughs> the bigger the, the conference, the more you it's get It's like really it. crazy, right. you know? Right. So, it's almost like the... Some of the larger conferences, mm -hmm. it's almost a bit like a Balkan crisis. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah, and so, and, and and you don't have that here, and then, and then the, this sort of sense of camaraderie. I think mm -hmm. I think what happens too is that very often there are only maybe there's maybe one medievalist, uh, especially a small school. You might be the only medievalist, right. or you might be there's one person in 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 in, in, in the English department, yeah. one person in the history department, and maybe one other person uh, somewhere else. And I think just everyone's excited to get together with people who, you know, are like minded. Yeah, who are like minded. And, and you know, and, and to, to, at least to my colleagues and, and others that I've talked to, it's, you know, the medievalist in the department is always the one who goes up to Kalamazoo every year. Right. And people start to pick up on that. You'll, you'll talk to someone who does 20th century America or something, and they'll say, oh, you're the guys who go to Kalamazoo. I hear that's crazy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the reputation <laughs> gets <laughs> out. Yeah. You know, you're right. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And, and you know, it really defines those. conferences like this. Really define the field in many right. ways. You know, not every academic field has a Kalamazoo. I would argue very few do. I've heard the geographers are a great party in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Las that, Vegas. That's, yeah, that's, Vegas. That's the word. <laughs> we bring the party to Kalamazoo. Exactly. Right? We are the party. <laughs> <laughs> Medieval Vegas. Well, one thing, like I like when I, I also kind of started like in the mid '90s coming here, and. Uh, Right off the bat, I felt so wow, this is uh, so accepted. Like I can come in and you know learn a lot of stuff, and like guys like Kelly DeBreeze and Cliff Rogers were really, you know, open to talking to like, a, and I was an undergrad. Like I was like, you know, right. I you was have almost a that. peon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. At most other conferences, you would be a peon, mm -hmm. and yes. and there would be very much you're supposed to have that awe and. Um, sort of that that aura and reverence. yes yeah more reverence here there's the respect but there's not the wholesale reverence for it and and there isn't sort of that stratification of, of people yeah. and it's nice to have the consistency from year to year because now um, you know it's 2012 I had to think no it's 2011 isn't it yeah. <laughs> and I would add to that the, the I've people been in the 12th are... century I'm sorry <laughs> it's a good place to be but it's uh, nice to have that consistency from year to year and people, you can see people's careers develop and they can see yours develop and and right. that's that's one of the attractions of Kalamazoo and, and I would add that the people watching who are starting off who are thinking about conference presentation this is a great place to get the first it paper is. because it not only is mm -hmm. it a welcoming forum but the senior scholars are very good about sort of deflecting when you need to you know you don't have if somebody senior wants to jump on a new grad student for oh well you didn't read this Portuguese account, you know, that's in right. this journal that has a circulation of 10. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other, the other people will, will jump in and deflect and say, look, you know, this person's starting off, let's encourage, you know, right. and, and let you into it slowly. And it's, it's, I think it's the best conference for that. Right. Right. And, and I would encourage people to apply for the undergraduate session because they didn't used to have that. And that has just, when I first came, it was through basically a very senior scholar saying, well, I think she's worth listening to. And, mm -hmm. and it was nice to have that on tray, but now they actually have the uh, the undergraduate sessions, yeah. and um, I have heard that they would like to expand it, so the more people they get putting in papers, the more undergraduate exposure there will be, and sometimes the undergraduates have some very interesting ideas, too, yeah. and uh, that, that are worth developing, and, and mm -hmm. that's one of the nice things about Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. I noticed the crowd, <clears throat> as it's expanded, it's... Um, a lot of young people here yeah. now, which is a great thing. You're getting yeah. really fresh ideas, and right. I think it's wonderful that they're opening it up to, that it's being opened up to everyone. 
like, you know, and another thing I see that's kind of changed is like the book sale room used to be just books. Yeah. Right. And now you can instruments. go and the instruments. Right. instruments. You they see people, a few years people ago. doing, you know, like art and you know, like chain my own. I go into the jewelry, yeah. you know. And, and mm. it's not like our, like, it's not like they're being shunned, you know. Right. No, right. they're, like, it's, no. Our, the community is coming in and they, they love this stuff, right. you know, yeah. and like. The, 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 the numismatist that's brought all of the coins. Yeah. And yeah. actually, it's funny, I've, I've yeah. actually, he's looked at some coins that I had that were Roman. Uh, for me, and when I saw him this year, he goes, "I know you. I've got some Saladin dinars for you." <laughs> that's awesome. But that that's also embraced, and and so you have not just the strictly academic things, but also the material culture. The manuscript people come, and, um, and concert that we and the concerts the, and some yeah. performances, the dramatic, yeah. Yeah. right? The and the brewers, the brewers stuff. guild is always swamped whenever they come with their their ale tasting night. Yeah, this will be the last one. For Unfortunately, oh, I'm gonna regret they, that we didn't they go. Ran out of the, uh, there's gonna be a hiatus, I suppose, from the person who makes the mead. Oh, right. exactly. that's, that's, that's what, what I've heard. Going well, on. There'll, there'll be someone else that hopefully will fill their shoes or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the pseudo society. I think that's one of the best oh, parts awesome. of this conference yeah, that we can actually laugh at ourselves Can I and, have and awesome. think about what's what's coming up soon. I mean, you know, a lot of these um, uh, young people are going to be going out to the dance. You know, the, yes. the yeah. annual Kalamazoo dance, yeah. which we'll of course completes young the experience. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like a bunch. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's, the there's nothing like Jersey a bunch of fifty something medievalist oh. dancing a macarena with drinks in their hands. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah. that's a spectacle. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> Cannot see this anywhere else. But they usually, the DJ usually does try to play a little bit of music for everybody. He's been playing though. the same set for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just saying, just putting that out there. Well, but because of the games, I don't dance anymore. So <laughs> I've been, but. You know, and that's the other thing, too, is that if you don't want to do the dance, and the, the, there's enough people, and, and you, over the years, meet enough people, or, or everyone's welcoming enough that you can arrange alternative things. There's lots of places to go out in town, and, yeah. And really, you know, I mean, not to speak ill of the sessions, because the sessions are great, you know, and, uh, well, but, but I'd say, you know, if, if, even if there weren't any sessions, the sort of the other things that happen, you know, right. just the, the sorts of things that you learn about other people's things, at Bilbo's, you know, which is, uh, you know, the traditional, the, place. Right, the traditional yeah. place to, to uh, mm -hmm. even back in the day when it was in that grimy little yeah. street. Yes, yeah. right, right. right. That was, the, those, were awesome. those were the good days. <laughs> those were the good days. I miss the old Bilbo's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and the kinds of things you learn about people's research and what they're yeah. doing and the things that are, get out of that formal paper mode yeah. you get to hear what they're doing. And, uh, you know, it, that's the kind of thing you can't, you know, you just can't do unless you're all sort of together in one right. place. You know, and, and I would add something that I did this year that I've never done before. And um, this year I participated in the Medieval Academy's grad student mentoring program, oh, okay. uh, where the um, Medieval Academy has a, a group of graduate students and they hook up, um, you know, a PhD student, ABD or somebody with a professor, and you meet for coffee and talk about, you know, challenges of the job, finishing the dissertation, balancing work and life and stuff. And I think that's really, really valuable. To have, you've got a great forum for that. You have a lot of young people, a lot of people with experience. It's a perfect place to bring them together. And so you're seeing other groups like the Academy can step in and really utilize the venue in different ways. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. And that, that sort of circles back to what I was saying right. before, that the non-traditional students, mm -hmm. um, that, that that's not looked down upon right. here. Many conferences, it's, oh, well, you don't have your PhD. Yeah. Well, I don't even actually have a master's if you come down to it. <laughs> but uh, and and that's that's one of the great things about Kalamazoo is is there isn't sort of that uh, the stratification and also yeah basically the attitude that that comes with some of the other conferences. Well, if you have something to say, people want to listen. Right. They right. Hear what you've got to. Right. And you don't have the situation, you know, where it's a lot of conferences people. They won't look at your face. First, they look at your name tag. And they decide, right. are you someone who can help my career or not? Right. And then they decide whether they can. Whereas here, I notice people look at your name tag and they say, oh, you're in some such place. Do you know so-and-so? Right. They're wonderful. And, uh, you know, that, that's the kind of uh, experience, you know, you get. This sort of support. You know, I was actually, I was kind of nervous going into the exhibitors hall because we're doing this sort of new e-publishing thing. And, you know, it's, of course, filled with traditional publishers. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, are we going to have an angry mob with pitchforks and torches driving us out <laughs> to the night? Uh, but in fact, you know, uh, you know, for the most part, what we had were we had, uh, you know, other publishers coming over and talking to us about what they were doing and the troubles that they were having with this and how they were getting around it. And, 
you know, offering advice to us and asking us what we were doing and, you know, asking us, well, what are you doing about this system? And, you know, and, and it kind of turned out to be not this sort of, even on that business side, turned out to be not to be very cutthroat, but a kind of exchange of, of ideas and experiences and uh, uh, that I was, you know, to be honest, I was not expecting. I thought once I got into the exhibition hall, things were going to be different in terms of tone, but they weren't. It was very much the same thing. Camaraderie. So, yeah, there's right. a camaraderie, right? We're all just <clears throat> together and, you know, uh, some you know, and, and people would come up and say, I, "I have this idea. Can you handle this?" Well, this is not good for us. But that booth over there, I know that's exactly what they're looking right. for. And people were sending people our way, uh, you know, with manuscript ideas that mm -hmm. didn't quite fit them, but they knew we would be interested in. So it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. You know. it works. It works the same way with the journals too. Uh, I'm shopping around two articles right now, and the journal I had originally approached, they said. Well, we could do this, but it's slightly shorter. Maybe you should try Obscure over at University of Saskatchewan. They handle slightly shorter pieces. So mm -hmm. I went over there, and they said, oh, yes, that's, you know, go ahead and submit it. That's something we'd be interested in. And mm -hmm. we, that that's another sort of aspect of the publishing that, yeah. that I find very helpful here. Yeah, I mean, everyone wants good scholarship <laughs> to find a home. Right. You know, you'll you'll find, you know, they want it to find a home, not... Not just for you, because they but they want to be available. Right, and the focus is on the ideas, not on you personally. Right. And that's the way I really feel that scholarship should be. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's really the tone, the tone that we have here. You know, I we to put a little plug for medieval, medievalist.net. Yes. You know, <laughs> after Witton put an ad in there, it was maybe <laughs> eighteen hours before we got our before we started getting our our first emails from people like uh, you know. Uh, you know, this is the experience I need. You know, do you do you need do you need editors or or I you know I have this friend and he has this book and I think it'd be perfect for you and it, we started getting those was even twenty four hours and that kind of same kind of tone on Medievalist.net, you know right. I mean if if you you know if people have never been here just kind of observing the tone that is on there is really what I think you can get a window into what goes on here yeah that's great yeah well. Man, that was a great. Uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Man, that was good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Peter. Uh, uh, well, tomorrow's Sunday. Are any of you doing anything for Sunday? Because I know he's going to the book sale. Absolutely, book sale. Fifty yeah. percent at off, off at Oxford. So. Yeah. <laughs> book sale. You have to be um, the book sale. I'll be there, uh, hearing last minute. Please take my book idea. Please publish me. Okay. So, I think Sundays are, we're all. Very tired out. Well, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be well, posting for you all, and I will visit the book sale because I'm going to buy some children's books. So. <laughs> they, they, or like, are you hitting any sessions or like tomorrow, or is it? No, tomorrow, unfortunately, just because the way my disability works, I yeah. usually have to have some downtime. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to be going on to Canada from oh, here. Yes. One of the one well, of the things Sandra and I was talking about is. Um, Kalamazoo, when it first started, they started on Wednesday. There weren't the evening sessions and the Sunday sessions. And that's one of the adjustments that I'm finding difficult just because of my situation. I, I really wish they would add more of a sort of regular Kalamazoo day and, and get away from the cramming. The cramming, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's no, so I'll, be, I'll just be packing up tomorrow but and, and uh, taking some time to socialize because this, because I'm not at a university and I do live in a fairly isolated part of the country. Um, this is my time to meet up with my old friends and, and catch up. And that's the nice thing about Kalamazoo is that you have that time and that, that option to do as much or as little as you feel like doing. It's true. Yeah. Unless you end up with a Sunday morning session. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the resident <laughs> step the dreaded Sunday Kalamazoo. Yes. Uh, never <laughs> going Everyone gets it at some point. It's, it's like a TV network that night. There's prime time Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday is like oh, Sunday is like well, the, the Fox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, now, now. <laughs> Sorry, it's a libertarian. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, like there are, I just want to point out, there's some fans. Uh, our site said, "I wish I was here," and I think, like, I wish you guys, you know, would, would be coming to the Kalamazoo. It's a, a lot chance. of fun. You should come if you can. Make right. it out for 2012. It will sure. be a blast. And yeah. it will be even bigger because this is growing every single year. Yes. So. Yeah. And you can meet these two celebrities here. No, even yeah. if you want to get an autograph. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and you can right. stop by I'm going to excuse me as I crawl. Right. Right. Well, you're going to get, you get, you get, get headshots done so you can sign the headshot. Oh, yeah. I, I think so. Can I fight under the table? Oh Anyone God. who comes, say hi to Sandra no. and ask for autographs oh. and, you know, and pictures and all that. Like, 
Okay, no, I'm gonna <laughs> crawl under the carpet and die. Okay. Anyways. Okay, well, that was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, but anyway, I'd like to thank you all. You, you thank know, you. You were wonderful well, thank uh, you for talking. Me. And, uh, thank you for doing this. We really and, appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, I guess we'll, uh, medieval, uh, medieval vs. Roundtable, we might, uh, we'll do see. Do you want to do it next year? Yeah, we'll do it next year. Yeah, we're sure. going we're to do this next year, I think, because I think we've had like three, you know, really good roundtable discussions. And uh, we might actually ho host a reception next year, too. Just there you go. Yeah, so there I, you I think what's missing is a Wednesday bar. night reception with an with open, an open, open, yeah. Yeah. open <laughs> bar. Open we're bar, not a cash bar. No way. Not a cash bar. Or you could make something There's no cash bars. Not in your vocabulary. Excellent. Not part of the Polish vocabulary. So... Uh, anyways, uh, this is all from Kalamazoo. We'll be posting as over the next couple of weeks all the no stuff sleep. that we found. Sleep is for the week. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks again. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.